nothing coming, nothing coming. Come on now. Well, welcome back, everybody. Go Crest Valley here on Farm Simulator 17. We're here on Mr. Blue Farms. Mr. Blue speaking, as usual. What we're going to do, folks? What am I doing? What am I doing? Well, this is what I get done when I'm done. Yep. That's right, folks. I am dropping this off to sale. What? Mr. Blue selling a log wagon? That's right, folks. It's still got four out. We done done so many trees with it and stuff. Yeah, it just ain't in there no more, folks. We're going to sell it and get 13000 something back. We're going to sell this dolly. Ooh, 7400 something back. All right. For one reason, our expenses at night are way too much. We're not going to sell the mighty wood chipper. I mean, the stump grinder. My bad. But anyway, welcome to Foreman Simulator, folks. How y'all doing? I'm doing this PT. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Uh, as you know, uh, last episode, we're doing a harvest. This episode, we're going to be moving the house trailers. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, folks. It's almost like a house trailer. Alright, we're going to lower this bad boy down. Unhook her. And let's just hope this works. But, uh, it is Wednesday, December the 21st, folks. Christmas is right around the corner. I want to take this time to wish all y'all a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. I know, I know. I need to be saying I wish y'all happy holidays. But folks, I really don't care if it offends you or not. I'm sorry to say that. But when I was raised from, it's Merry Christmas, okay? I might lose some viewers, subscribers, whatever. But sorry folks, I have to say. Merry Christmas. That's how I was raised. And that's how I'm going to be. Ain't no need in changing. Alright. Folks, let's see here. We got, what, 16,884. 84,000 over there. Add those up. Y'all do the math, not me. That's how much we got off of, uh, what is it, one two, three, four fields here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four fields. We made 84 plus the 1680 something. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We got 17 and 21 add to those fields. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, we're going to use this truck on over. Yeah. Stupid neighbors. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. Well, there's a car out in front of my trailer there. Uh, people next door. Or maybe on down one. Stopped in the middle of the road and just squealed the tires. I get when they do that quite often here. Eh, I forgot about these guys. I usually start down before I start the video. In case y'all might wonder. Y'all get to see Betsy, Rosie. And, uh, where's Susie? I want to see Susie. She must be around back. Folks, her pigs are, are really, really taking off, folks. Let's get all these started and then I'll show y'all. But uh, we do have 26 to go, and that will be all the soybeans. 
and then we'll have what is that 18 I believe 22 23 24 19 and 16 in canola and our three fields of I think wheat where it looks uh, our long is still zero and we have 111,319 so that's good folks that is excellent we have 71 sheep 97 pigs and 38 cows Yes, that's right, folks. 38 cows. Our milk is doing pretty good at night. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. My controller batteries are low. I forgot to change them out. I'm trying to look for... I do not see nothing for milk. Huh. Maybe it's. Ah, here we go. Uh, let's see. So, milk. There we go. Look at there, folks. Just look at that. Our milk is going up. But as far as saying that, I want to apologize. I had to buy some water for the pigs quickly, like. But yeah. Other than that, I've been getting it out of the pond. Biogas plant income. That's nice job income that's even nicer folks but uh yeah that's it, the interest on stuff it's been eating us up folks <clears throat> and see I gotta take this bad boy here on down We're right here. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of talking weird, folks. Why? It's just like I got a sneeze. Yeah, when I try to sneeze, it's like a cough. My sinuses are killing me. My throat kind of feels a little scratchy feeling. Uh, let's see, when was it? Was it yesterday or day before? I had uh, two flats. Actually, I had a flat, but my mom had a flat. I was with her when she had it. And are you talking about cold, folks? She got like a 2004 Windstar and a front tire. What flat on her? Which we went down the railroad. road. I can drive on across. Ooh, that is not good. Oh no, that is not good. Okay, let's go back this way. Anyway, we went down the railroad. road. Look at this house. And, uh, pulled over, let somebody buy. And as soon as we pulled back out on the road, it felt funny. Told my mom to stop. Sure enough, the front tire was flat. I'm like, holy cow. Let's see, let's get this other one get started. But the way we were sitting, we had only like two or three inches between the van and the ground so I had to take the one way tar tool I think is what you call them got the point on the end of it and dig out a spot in the road for the jack to fit under the van so yeah that's just made it a little bit colder but anyway I think that's what done it because time I got done 
you don't know me anyway, I sweat a lot. And, uh, yeah, sweating and being cold. It's no match, folks. So I guess that's why I'm feeling rough. But anyway, back to farming. We have a lot of equipment that's just sitting around. I hate, hate to just go back and sell it because we're going to need it eventually. But we got all these, uh, yeah, all these conveyor belts here. Oh, yes, I got to get this back, folks. I have totally forget about this. Off screen, well, let me rephrase that. Y'all might have noticed when I was dabbing around last episode, I had all these trees laying around the place. That's right, all these trees here. And then I cut one, two, three, I think like three down right there, just uh, so we drive the combines through there. And all of these down through here, folks. All of them. Can't really put a shed here because you'll have trees sticking through it. And this here ain't quite flat. So I decided to leave this like it is. We can come up here and mow it. Use a loader wagon. And be grass for sheep, folks. Yeah. But we're going to go to the garage. Okay. And we're going to tab over. And we're going to go. This is our lease item, folks. I leased it. The thing cost me like 10000 to lease it. Better than a hundred and twelve thousand, uh, and we're gonna return this. There, and this was like three hundred dollars to lease. That wasn't bad at all. I got my money back. They done a, a good job. Uh, corn header on sale, but we don't need that in this twelve row. I think we got two sixteen rows. Well, uh, we're down to this one now. We're going to have to go deposit this in the central transport hub. And wait for prices to go up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to look at the combines and look at this too. I think our combines will be alright for just a temporary. Might just pull over here. Oh, they look pretty good. Let's just go ahead and take this on up here because we're going to need this ASAP, folks. And also, don't forget, folks. Uh, today's Wednesday, so tomorrow night. Yep, that's right, folks. Thursday night is the Osceola Christmas Parade. If nothing's changed. Oh my god, I just remembered something. I got wide tires on. Oh my god. I can fit right here. I should be able to fit. Oh my god, it's so tight. Woo hoo wee, I made it. Just hope I'm making out the other side. Wow, folks. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. I like storing stuff here, folks, because we got a whole lot more room over here. Oh, I don't believe it. I made it. Oh, that's plenty of room. Look at there. That is plenty of room. Ooh, Mark, because I'm ribbing that side there. I had got that be.
I wanted the bigger tires on here so it wouldn't be that much digging. You know, be more supported over a wider area. Won't make so much ruts. Alright, we got one more trailer left. I think I'm going to go ahead and return the Scorpion. Because we really don't need that much more wood cutting. There are a few places I'd like to cut some more trees, but we can always rent like the uh, Scorpion out cheaper than we can just letting it sit around. I know I said that folks. I can't believe I'm saying leasing is better. Some cases it is. I hope that's the weeder finish their task and not the combine. I really don't know where I'm gonna park this thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna park it right over there on that grassy spot. Because when we start doing canola, it, it's going to be worse than beans as far as, you know, they can go all day long almost before they fill up. Yeah, I'm just going to park right here. And also, folks, I'm going to have a uh, video out pretty soon about a keyboard that changes colors on with a mouse. Um, so be sure and check that out. Hopefully, I'll have it out later today. But it all depends on how I feel. Because unlike the rest of the videos, I am actually recording on Wednesday now. It's uh early in the morning on Wednesday, like one o'clock. One o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. So yeah folks, I am cutting this really close. Ah, uh, you would have to stop. You're going so good. But don't worry, as soon as I get done recording this, I'm going to edit real quick. And while it's converting, I'm going to take that good power now. Alright, he is done. We have to go. I ain't going to switch tractors. I'm just going to go on over here. The other combine is done. Or not done, but full. I hope y'all can hear me okay, folks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry about that, folks. Man, that's not going to let me turn it back on. You know what? I am glad. So glad I have an extra battery laying here. And it's already charged. There we go. It could have deleted us a couple of seconds and let me get under the auger. That would have been so much better. Anyway, that's how life goes, right? Always unexpected surprises. Watch me forget to charge that better. sitting here looking at the time folks it's already 20 minutes into this game and it don't seem like I've been playing that long it really doesn't I just basically got started we're going to top off our 
semi first and hopefully it'll hold which I doubt it thought maybe it'll hold rest of these beans and save the gray trailers for the canola and uh yeah I think what we're going to do is use the truck and the two auger wagons to uh, finish the rest of these beans and go ahead and save that for the canola. Oh, well, we got a little time. Let's see. We need to be getting our. Uh, we don't have thought we had another tractor free are you going to go ahead and start the cultivator but not look like we do so uh I am going to go ahead and start them right here. The weeder, that is. Alright. The weeder is so slow, folks. And I've been thinking about something. Now, I know we ain't financially set right now because of we need to get up in the, in the thousands, hundreds of thousands, real good. Guess I was thinking about him. But, anywho, we'll go ahead and finish the harvest because I don't want to get too many things going. Because right now I got two, three, I got three, six, I got six workers going right now. Three of them's in this field and the other three of those iRobots. I, I call them iRobots. I don't know really what they are, but. Things are going up here. Yeah, I'll pick some pull this combine out. We're going to go ahead and clean them out, pull them out, clean them out, and get them ready for a canola. That's right, folks. We're going to send them across the road. Let them get started over there. Come on, truck. Hold the rest up. Should be able to. All right. In real life, folks, we would have to actually take uh, about an hour or two. Might not be that long. But actually clean out the doors of the combine and everything. Swap over to a different crop. Oh, whoa, whoa. But, uh, since this ain't real life, it's Mr. Blue's Magic Land. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. You know, my magic does. Yeah. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, we got this little field right here. And then those. So while that oven's finishing that one fill up, this guy almost have this fill done. I hope. Alright. And there we go. I probably could widen this field just a little bit more. 
take over the train track just a little more. Well, I need to cut those trees out there. And some of these trees down here I need to cut out. It'd help on turning rate ratio and stuff like that. I really don't know how this one's going to turn. I mean, this close to the trees. Okay, yeah, that's getting scary. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a make a couple of headlands this way over. Ah, oh, get straight. There we go. Yeah, as close to that edge we can. All right, and we need to. Uh, oh, wrong way. Go ahead and get a green buggy. Look like our weeder's going to catch up to us before we get done. We might have to change sides. Might. We're going to run it and see. Maybe we won't run into no problems. Ah, come on. I should have done have my crew set. That's my fault. Well, I'd be fired if I was a green cart driver in real life, wouldn't I? Pulling up, backing up, blocking the combine, and all this stuff. Well, folks, I said I would change the mount in the last episode. I actually forgot. But these 40 foot headers. We're going to probably change them out. And, uh, yeah, go with the 35 foot ones. So, probably should have done that before we got this far. But, oh well. We're just human, right? We make mistakes, do crazy things. Then we'll look back like, oh man, why did I do that for? I could have went a different route on that. But that's part of life. We make mistakes. Just gotta learn from them. Well, horses for two, that ain't good. We just got a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and haul this load off. All right. And also, I think I am out of wheat and barley for the pigs, folks, so... It's a good thing we get. I hope that's what we got planted up on the north end is that some wheat. And we are out. We'll get up here. I'll show you. I had some uh, barley in the warehouse, but I sold it to help get the rest of those near combines and. Uh, that's what happens when you forget what you had planned ahead. Alright, I'm going to unload. We're going to go over. See, wheat and barley is almost down on the pigs. Which is no biggie. I could go sell some and it would drop back. Ooh, we got a new wool pallet started. Alright. Alright. See, I like plowing a road that would go like back here. And it was a little rough, and then just come across. I wish we could put our own bridges in. That would make it so much better, too. I had, uh, could be making a lot of money right now, folks, doing these harvests on these other people's fields. 
But uh, there we go. We got four pallets there. Look at all those sheep there. Woo. So we're going to use this trip to get the rest of the beans. And uh, on. hopefully uh, get started on the other kind of the rest of the canola. So we're doing pretty good, folks. Sorry we start off to a rough start, but we'll get there. Might be one more episode, but it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, sorry about that, driver. All right. We got Oh, folks. Ooh, look at there. That is going to be so close. We're going to use this buggy to drive on down here. I need to take a other buggy over, but we got to fix this little deal right here real quick. Oof. Scoop myself over. Look at that, folks. Look at there. That's how you do it. All right. See, he done this whole little field here, and I ain't full yet. All right, it's gonna get a little, a little uh, busy here for a second, but we we gonna have it, folks. The weeders are gonna turn around, and keep going. I'm just going to have to unload this combine and get him over real quick. And then get the ovens done now, so, yeah. Yeah, let me through, let me through. Oh, I'm stuck. Huh? put him in this uh I don't, I don't have no name for that I guess big cut since it's three fields for right now anyway I say five would be the big cut we'll name five the, the big one and this see I don't know why they do that But he rearm and then he goes good. Let's see. Come on, start up, baby. We're gonna go on over here. And we're gonna cut us a headland across here. Scoot over just a little. There we go. Where's our weeder? Oh, perfect timing, folks. Perfect timing. Call a free ride. All right. Can't get no better than that. Now the only thing I'm going to worry about is two combines beating at that one perfect point to block everything. Well, we're fixing to be there. We're going to unload this and uh, 
Yeah, right, but a little bit. Gotta unload this and move it out of the way. I think the combine's gonna be alright. I think we can, I think we can, I think we can, all right? Oh yeah, they're gonna be Uh, we just got a little bit. Let's go on over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get all cut up. Oh, look at there. And that worked out good. I think so myself. I don't know about y'all, but. All right, we're gonna move this trip. Well, soybeans, soybeans. We don't have a little bit. So I guess we'll do it here in a minute. Now that worked out just about right, y'all. Yeah. yeah, that worked out pretty good. Who say so myself? I think we can do it before. Well, what, what I'm trying to say is we're going to take this truck and run it to the pigs and drop the soybeans off in their thing there because they can use some soybeans folks. And should get back before the other combine gets full, hopefully. Hopefully, that's my game plan. Oh, it looks so much better down through here. Those trees are gone. This opens the place up and enjoy the view better. I can't believe we done got 15 hours on this truck. I really can't. It's just amazing how fast stuff like that can just accumulate. Well, I'm sorry to say, uh, what happened? He's just going to get blocked for a minute. Oh no, I knew. Oh man. Come back here, robot. Didn't mean to take you off course. And sometimes when these guys get off course, it's a pain. Alright, that's close enough. Hey, yeah, you too. Okay. I was going to catch him, but that, that'll be all right. That'll work. A little bit longer rows that way instead of being in a short rows. This guy got to be full. Oh, yeah, these lights are on. Set cruise. 
Oh, we're good to go. Ah, gotta go over some more. But yeah, folks, I, I had a whole list of stuff I was going to talk about tonight, but I just started feeling bad. And I guess I should have wrote them down. But I got this little thing on my microphone here, stand, where I can put a, a 8 inch tablet or iPhone or anything like that. And it holds it for you so you can, you know, type in or something, have a list of stuff to say, and you just read off of that list. Y'all seen the video. Uh, my son's tablet is a 8 inch, and I could have done, easily done that. Wasn't thinking. But now I want to tell y'all about Thursday night. I'll be at Old Shoulder Parade. If nothing changes. I do use that very strongly. And what I mean by that. You know, I don't feel good right now. The way I feel right now. I'm barely making this video, folks. That's how bad I feel. Well, what's this for two? It's full too, so. Can we get to him before he gets to the end? Doubtful. I know it'd be hard to do, but I wish we could control the combines from within the cab. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, he's gonna hit the tree. Oh, that is unreal. Oh, well, folks. Oh, I had a good supper, but it, it's just uh, not agreeing with me right now. now I'm sorry to be uh, negative. I don't really mean to be negative. I just, I get not feeling good. I guess I get that way. Don't be all, though. And trying to drink more water. I really could use a good Coke right now. They make me belch better than anything in this world. Oh yeah, I think it's going to work out better this way, folks. I really do. Might have to start letting the combines do that. All right, pipe out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we definitely going to, uh, yeah, come on up here, get started. Definitely switching these headers out in these combines after this harvest. If uh, we don't get done with this harvest, I'll do it off screen. That way y'all can see the difference when we come back in the next episode. Oh yeah, we got the parade Thursday night. Uh, I gotta find out what time it starts. Should be about six o'clock, give or take. And then uh, got the video on the keyboard that y'all need to watch for. Uh, and there's a couple other things. I just can't think of it right now. Oh yeah, uh, the Friday episode of Sonofka. Y'all need to, if y'all watch Sonofka, y'all need to catch that episode. 
because it will explain some news that's coming up. I don't want to give away right now, folks, so y'all be sure to watch Sonoka, uh, which I hope y'all watch that too. I know a few of my good friends do, and fans, friends and fans, yeah. But, uh, don't worry, it, it seems like bad news, but it's not. You just have to watch it and I'll explain it in the video. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it as far as... I'm full, folks. I actually got the trailer full. Got 43. I'll pull it right out in front of a loaded tractor, sir. Go ahead, that's real nice. 43, that will... No, it's 64. So it'd be like a trailer and a half. Alright. There we go. I'm on the... Whoa! Perfect. That's perfect. I'm going to kind of bounce around here a little bit. Um, get this little green boogie. We're going to move it on up. Actually, you know what, folks? We're going to take this back. So I'll go ahead and head back real quick and put it under the little silo, not silo, but the awning down here at the cows. Because this is our big tractor. I know it'll pull that cup later. I can't get him started right yet because of the workers. Now I'm just going to put them right here. And, uh, all right, one trailer's full. But I'm going to pressure wash him and, uh, yeah. Oh, a weeder's going to be done too. All right. Keep on taking that sign, somebody walking for some reason. Ooh, very interesting. Ooh, very, very interesting. I'm gonna let this one do a round, or not a round, but go down and come back, which, you know, basically a round. Wasn't thinking, folks. Uh, yeah, this one here. And the driver's kind of about all the way back, 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 back down. It just feels like my nose is a brick. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. It would be. Mm. 
night before last, I think. Well, my cousin's house, one of them. Had some chili. Oh my goodness, you're talking about some good, good chili. And, uh, yeah. Oh man, that's ready to be done. Oh well, I had that chili, I'm like, oh my god. I was like in heaven. I don't know why I just didn't dab over. And faster than walking. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wish they would cut in an angle. I really would. I'm just going to go up just a little bit here. That I think might have time to get done. We should start anyway. I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this in that field there while I'm just finishing up this field. Alright, and hire a worker. Come on, come on, you can do it. All right. Tell you what, I think it'll take that whole, watch me be wrong here. And I, I really usually am wrong sometimes, a lot of times. I'm just gonna drive this sucker on down here. Let him work back this way. Oh, please, 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 thank y'all. There we go. Wait, I know what. Was that full? That couldn't be full. Oh my god, he's full. Ah, well. I was going to get the weeder, move him over, but I guess I'm going to have to go on down here and catch this combine first. But it'll be stopped before I get to it, probably. No, not quite yet. actually open he would stop but he didn't so yeah ah uh, down, down to the pipe there we go no well, still ain't there we go I'm gonna take him a little bit. Maybe we can get this known down there. I'm gonna plan on letting this and do a, a through, hopefully. And we'll take a move over. Something like that. I got. I think we just got three fields that's wheat, and the rest of them's canola. Oh, couldn't time it no more better. And I'm done. 
Alright, I'm just gonna park this guy right here. We really, really gotta get that wiener going. Okay. Gotta watch them for a second because they usually stop. That didn't, so I guess we're good. Now we don't have very many beans, so I'm just going to dump them right here for now, folks. Because we're going to have to get this truck back real quick. Actually, I'm going to take a shortcut. Yeah, I brought that water trailer right up here to this shack and killed it there. That could have saved that water, just went on over to a ditch somewhere that's got some sandy area. It don't always have to be a sandy area. You just got to be able to get your trailer down into it. These three fields here should be wheat. Yeah, it looks like wheat, so. So, I got to. There goes our weeder. We're gonna have to move this guy on up. Oh, no. We're going to be higher. Wow, and put a big old hole inside of the auger wagon. What well, didn't mean to do that, folks. Just trying to get out of that in its way. Let's take a look at our map real quick. And fruit types. Yes. We got 19 and 16. That's what I was thinking. So I'm just going to move right into that and. And when that gets down, he's going to go to the... He's got a plan ahead, folks. Just like I should have cut those trees right there. Give us a little bit more room. Alright. I keep going the wrong way. All right, it's going to give us time to unload this buggy. Probably just got too close. Okay. Still dabbing too far. All right, he'll finish that field. We're going to go ahead and move him over real quick. And we're about pulling those two tractors. How does that sound for a plan? Because folks, I'm trying to push it as much as possible. Because we're right at the iron mark. And I was hoping we get done with the harvest within, you know, two episodes. Looks like we're going to have to get a third combine. Or something. I know what I would have done at the beginning of the episode. If you got the combine started right at the first. That probably would have made it. But, but we're still not too bad off. Alright. Two trailers full. You know, our weeders are, or weeder is pretty, okay, yeah, he's way behind, no doubt about it. I was just giving them, uh, you know, whatever it's called. 
Yeah, I don't know. Right, I know he won't need this wagon because he can dump in the pit there. Which I don't really want to, but... Hey, we got to do what we got to do, right? I can always just park him over here to catch this guy. And just move him up, up there and he, that kind of ended up in here. So, we got it covered, right? All right how y'all feel about going just a little over? Really? How about you? How you feel? Really? You too? Uh, how about you? Okay. Two out of three ain't bad, folks. We're going to go a little bit over. Just a little bit. Try to get these canola fields wiped out. Ooh, we got wage payment, folks. Sucking our money down. We're going to have to get some income coming in. So what I was thinking about doing, I can do one harvest and probably get up to enough by a solar panel. Alright, you go ahead and go. I just want to get some of it out. Am I blocking you? No, no. Okay, good. Yeah, about half. He's half, so that's good. Let's see. I'm just driving this guy over here. I do have to drive him down south since the cultivator's down there. We might want to start there. Folks, like I said, way back, I was using this area, put a silo in. Probably about eight of them here. And then uh, that spot over there to put some solar panels. So, yeah. You know, I don't need that much money to, uh, go Chris Pacific Green is up there, folks. We need to sell some beans. Uh, I see. I'm going to borrow 20000 now. And, uh, oops. I'm going to go over to Placeables, and folks, I've been promising this a long time. See, there's our silo right there. It's the same price as the solar panel. So next time, or next episode, we'll probably get one lamb. But I'm going to go ahead and buy a solar panel, folks. That's because I've been promising y'all. Uh, uh, zoom in here so I can get a a good 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 view of it it don't matter which way you turn it just matter where you position them because they're going to turn themselves folks all right that's one solar panel and folks that brings 45 dollars an hour you have to get a lot of these which i don't know what that first slot was but they're one slot each from here on out I got 425 slots. We're doing pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, let's go to the combines. Okay, this in here is done. So, yeah, I don't see no spots missed except for this corner here. I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm going to dump.
And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and move him over to the wheat. Which, uh, I don't think I called no names out this episode. I, I, I'm sorry about that. Folks, that's just how bad I've been feeling. Uh, Jason is on one and Boo's on the other. Uh, and I guess the one weeder we got would be Jonathan. Uh, my phone just ding. Alright, didn't quite feel the third trailer, but I thought that was Messenger, but it just went off again, so that was an email I got. Hmm. One who could be emailing me this time in the morning. Oh, folks, wait, I was fixing to make a boo boo. I'm going to get to this other kind, man. That's what I thought. And he would have to be full, but I think he'll make it. He's got to turn around. Yeah, that's what I thought. I ain't going to worry about that little piece. Uh, we need straw. Badly, folks. Now, I was just about to make a boo-boo. Yes, folks, we got to lay straw down because our, uh, what are they called? Hay lofts are very low. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And next time, we're going to hire the combines, lay down some straw, pick it up, put it in a hay loft. Uh, let's go to our hay loss from. Uh, let's see here. That's 314,832 folks. And that's supposed to be close to 500,000 I believe. So when we get more animals and stuff, they're going to start using more. So, while well, I got three fields of uh, uh, wheat. Yeah, see? 12, 14, and 15. Right there is wheat. We're going to lay them down, folks. And, uh... easier to scoot the combine over. Oh, the combine's empty. Okay. But anyway, folks, that's what we're going to do next time. You have uh, been doing a Let's Play with uh, me, Mr. Blue, here on Mr. Blue Farms. Uh, Go Crest Valley, Farming Simulator 17, with uh, Xbox One Edition. So yeah, folks, come next time we're going to thrash these three fields, get the straw from them. Uh, the wheat will go towards the pigs along with the straw. So these are basically the feed fields, they call them. So yeah, until next time, folks, uh, we'll see you. see you tomorrow in the next episode, okay? Um, uh, yeah. All right. Mr. Blue signing off. Bye.